high school, I wanted to be the state champion. In college, I wanted to be the national champion. And after college, I wanted to be the Olympic champion. But I had a goal. And I had people that had already achieved it. I was always around really good people to, to look up to, to see what they did, copy them, hoping to get a, a similar result. But that also created a jealousy, you know, even if it was my friend, I was envious. I was envious that he had the gold belt or the, the world and Olympic medals, just one of those things, but that helped to keep me motivated. And, um, you know, anytime, if you ever achieve a goal, that can be a very depressing time. You'd be real excited for a week or two, but then it wears off and you, you've lost your purpose. So resetting a goal was always very, very important to me. New goal, new goal, new goal, little steps on how you're going to achieve it. I mean, that's just, that's goal setting 101. But um, I did lose my motivation after a period of time. You know, I, I lost my motivation around 33 and I fought, I fought for three world championships since I was 33. I had to operate on discipline. I had to operate on mental toughness of this is what I'm going to do every day at this time, set it aside after that and go to something else until the next day. But uh, I can tell you when I was motivated, oh my goodness, it was, life was just easier, but I couldn't control it. I couldn't, you know, at one point it was a sport and I was having fun, but you do it long enough, it becomes a job. It's just, it's just one of those things. Do you think when you, uh, when you be, when you were unmotivated, I mean, I know that you had opportunities before that, obviously, but did you have better opportunities because of, you know, all the career you had already established yourself, you're already a big name and a draw and everything. Did a lot of opportunities come to you when you weren't as motivated? Like, I think that that'd be a fair statement. You know, one thing I was always it, back to discipline, but I will never go to bed. If I owe somebody a phone call, I would never go to sleep at night, owing a text message or an email. I, I would get all those things done, no matter how late I have to stay up. And uh, I bring that to you because I did get a lot of opportunities just by being accessible and just by saying yes. I mean, when I became like a good guy to work with or an easy guy to work with, well, let's go work with him a little bit more. And that was never part of my strategy. I just kind of had to look back and, and realize why there was some opportunities. I'm very grateful for him, but a lot of it was whether I want to do it or not, I will go do it. And if I say I'll do it, it will get done. And it was just one of those things where I all of a sudden I became very reliable and I just became the guy that you turned to. So um, I'm not sure if that answered the question, but that's how I would answer that question. The secret is there is no secret. The real learning is in the doing. And if you don't know what to do, go to my website, www.davenportbarbell.com. You can get one of my books on there. If you don't know how to read or you don't have $10, that's not a problem. There's a link to my podcast. You can just go watch or listen to my podcast. That is 100% free. That's not enough for you though. Uh, like I said, there's the books or you can hire a coach or get a consultation. And there's also links to purchase pre-workouts, exercise equipment, absolutely anything that you need to be successful in your journey. You can find at www.davenportbarbell.com. Oh, hey, Dan Bell here. As many of you guys know, I'm a world's strongest powerlifter. I actually just uh, just finished up reading this book from Scott Davenport, so Mixed Martial Arts. I love how he gets in the mindset grit required to become successful. Scott tells a story of how it was installed to him in his early years. He then takes you through his rise through fighting, the camps, the coaches, his influences, and his opponents. He also dives into the hardships, the challenges, and injuries, everything that he needed to overcome. Scott's virtues and faith carried him through these hardships and challenges to find your own. That mindset and that lessons that Scott learned and expressed in this book can be transferred to almost any endeavor. If you're interested in this story and how hard work, perseverance, faith, and carry a person to their goals, this book is definitely for you.